Petitions to the Honorable Law Minister to bring in the bill. Thank you. Sri S. P. Mudanbe Gowda. Sir, thank you, sir. Sir, uh, we are discussing uh, on a very sensitive matter, sir. The Honorable Law Minister has, uh, has brought this bill, which was brought by the earlier uh, UPA government. Sir, uh, I'm happy that you, have, uh, you yourself, a legal luminary, has consulted a lot of legal luminaries. You have read out some names. So we are confident that we will withstand the test of judiciary. Sir, very recently the Honorable Supreme Court has made it stand clear. They have expressed in open court about how this bill is being treated by them. They have stated clearly, I think you are aware, that the bench headed by the Honorable, Honorable Chief Justice of India, while disposing of a public interest litigation, they have stated an attempt is being made to defame the judiciary. An attempt is being made to lower the image, image, image of the judiciary in the country. And they have also mentioned that an impression is created among the general public that this, this uh, you know, they are not clearly mentioned who is going to do that, but they have stated an attempt is being made to defame the judiciary and to lower the image. Sir, you are aware that uh, every act of legislation we do here, that will be subjected to judicial review. That will be subjected to judicial, judicial scrutiny. We have to withstand that. That's why we must be extra careful while dealing with the constitutional amendment. Sir, one more thing I would like to bring to your notice, sir, that you have mentioned about the two eminent members to be appointed who are going to pick up the judges. Sir, who are these two eminent persons? As Mr. Sampath rightly pointed out, the eminent persons with judicial background, they are needed. Because who is the person who can be a better judge? A person who can deliver justice. A person with integrity, with honesty, he can only de deliver better judgments. That's why, so it is, it is, it is the responsibility of this committee, sir, one minute I'll come back, sir. It is the responsibility of this government to see that a clarity is made while appointing these two members. That is one thing. Finally, sir, finally, sir, to update my knowledge, I would like to pose one question before you, sir. Sir, suppose sir, a judge has been found that he is guilty of corruption. He is removed from the service. Before that, he has delivered hundreds of judgments. What is the fate of judgments delivered by that corrupt judge? What is the fate of that judgment? A judge, we, a judge who has been removed eh, on the ground of corruption, if he has delivered hundreds of judgments, what is the fate of, what is the value, what is the property we can attach to such judgment? That is one question, sir. So ultimately, the need of the hour is, sir, a common man of this country, a common litigant of this country wants that the case should be decided on merit, not otherwise. That's why I said keeping all this issue, I, I, I welcome this, uh, this, this constitutional amendment which was brought by us, sir. Thank you, sir. Adhaniya Adhyagji, I pure sadanka bahut hi hirde se dhanwaad deta hoon. Itni saathak charcha hoi